everyone, so today we are doing a very exciting video. In this video, I am very happy to announce that we are going to be diving back in to our prom dress series. This is a series we've been doing on this channel for over four years now. And this is a series that I hold very dear to my heart because a lot of you guys found my channel from prom dress videos. I see it in comments all the time and they're videos I love doing. And honestly, I wanna keep doing prom dress videos until you're so sick of seeing prom dresses that you never wanna see another prom dress ever again. Or maybe a little bit before that, we'll stop doing these. So just let me know when you get to that point and we'll stop. Today we're gonna to be trying a brand that is a little bit less well known, I think. One of you requested it to me and I went over and I was just like stunned. The she woman was, was too stunned, stunned to speak. The dresses were gorgeous, but I had never heard of this brand and it doesn't seem like a very large brand. Actually, I should check their Instagram before I make all these claims. I just hadn't heard about it before. Oh my gosh, no. <laughs> okay, wait. I'm over on their Instagram. They have 220,000 followers. They've been featured in Vogue UK, Vogue Italy, Fashion TV. Oh, yeah, so they're very well known, basically. I guess I just live under a rock. What else is new? The brand that I keep alluding to is Chotronet. I am definitely pronouncing it wrong, and if I'm not pronouncing it wrong, I am very impressed because Chotronet. Chotronet? I feel like there's an accent. Chotronet. Does that sound French? because this isn't a Romanian brand. Anyways, this wouldn't be the first time I pronounce a brand name wrong. I'm sorry, this is the brand that we are trying. Sound it out for yourself. Like I was saying, it is a Romanian brand, which I figured out from the website because everything was in currency Lai, L-E-I, which I was like, what is that? It's Romanian currency, which by the way, made all the dresses look like they were gonna be really expensive. Like this one I bought was 3,782 lai, which by the way, I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. Oh, and now it's saying Romanian Lee, L-E, I'm so confused, whatever. It's the Romanian currency, 3,782 lei. I wish I was more worldly in this way, but I'm not. But anyway, at 3,782 in Canadian dollar was 1,036. So still pretty pricey, but when I first looked at the cost, I was like, what? And then I did the conversion. I was like, oh, it feels a lot more affordable now because I thought it was gonna be $3,700 and now it's actually 1,036. Are you following? I know you're following, but like I am definitely making it more confusing than it needs to be. I realize that and I should stop. Anyways, if I was going to describe these dresses in three words, I would say whimsical, fantasy, and show-stopping. That's two words, but we're gonna put it as one. If you're going to prom and you may want to steal the show, I mean, I'm not condoning it, but like you do you. Steal that show if you want to. These dresses might just help you get there. We'll see though. I'm just going off of the pictures online. We wanna see what they look like in person. We don't want that Instagram versus reality moment. We want it to look good both ways and we're gonna see today. So this was months ago, but I ordered four dresses and I got them made to measure to my exact sizes. I was really, really excited that they did made to measure because if you were going to be wearing it to prom or a special event, that is like an extra piece to get it to your exact sizes. So there's no gapping, fits you perfectly. Awesomeness. <laughs> Awesomeness. Okay, actually, I don't know if I bought four or five dresses. I guess there's only one way to find out. Let's dive in. So these dresses were actually shipped in three separate parcels. I think they shipped them as they became completed because they were made to order. I think they made one, sent it out, made another, sent it out all separately, which was all fine and dandy, except for the fact that one parcel got $63 of customs on it and the other one got around that too. So I would have preferred it just be a bigger box and maybe wait, but I do like that they ship them as they're ready so you're not waiting a long time. But yeah, that's just one thing to say. Then there's the opportunity to get customs on every single parcel. My jumpsuit is so tight. I can like hardly lift my hands above my head. <sighs> 
Let us see, let us see. We've got it in this nice dress bag with the brand right there. Shows that it's packaged well. I haven't seen the dresses I've ordered since I ordered them, which was like so many months ago. It might even have been like eight months ago when I ordered these. So I'm gonna be re-shocked with every dress. <gasps> oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, oops, I'm singing. Oh my goodness. I have nothing to say. I just keep saying, oh my goodness, I'm so shocked. This is so pretty. <gasps> what a gorgeous fabric this is. I will put the price up in the corner in Canadian dollars, but oh, this is cute. And we have a built-in bra here, which I so appreciate that. Personally, I like to have something covering. So I really like that that's built in there. And then on the back, it's all these clasps. So I actually won't need my mom's help getting into this. I thought maybe it would be like a lace up. Oh, it is a lace up. So it's got the clasps here, but then there's also this long string to lace up. So I will need my mom's help. I feel like this is like so cotton candy dream. They all have such fun names. Let me just read the dress names. Cherry Kiss Sorbet, Watercolor Cupcake, Cotton Candy Clouds, Sparkle Milkshake, Mousse de Fleur. I'm definitely not saying that with the correct accent, but like, those are all such fun names. I love the way that that top looks. It's very reminiscent of all of the gowns that I love from Tuota Matoshi. The tulle on the top is like totally stealing the show. Oh my gosh, and there's a big slit here. I just keep discovering new things about this dress that I love. It just makes me think of the creative minds that come up with these. So fantastic, so fabulous. And then the sleeves are these tulle pieces that we're gonna tie in a bow. I need this on bod immediately. Let's put it on. Presenting a beautiful, beautiful gown. Oh, take it in people, take it it in. This is so beautiful. I was a little bit concerned that it wouldn't fit because I've gained a bit of weight, but I fit into it. Oh, I didn't even notice. There's like a crisscross moment. My mom helped me get into this. As you can see, I was not able to do that on my lonesome. I mean, let's talk about the show-stopping pieces of this dress. They are as follows. These, these are fun. These are the moments. The other show-stopping moment has got to be this floral pattern tulle. I'm obsessed with it. This dress all together is just so beautiful. I also love the slit. Let me get up on a little thing so I can show you the bottom because there is a train and I am getting caught up in it. I'm loving this little train. It's so cute. I'm usually not a huge fan of trains, but I think with this dress, it really, really works. I mean, this is Gorgeous! One of my favorite pastimes lately is when you have a dress like this, I like putting a circle skirt under it. Just give me a second. You will love it too. I'm sure you will. This is my circle skirt. If you forgot about it, if, or if you didn't see my historical wear video, I got it in that and I have been obsessed ever since. It makes every dress look better. Oops, sorry for flashing everyone. Like it makes it so much more princess. I love this. Ah! <laughs> I already touched on this a bit, but the made to measure feature is awesome because this is like my exact measurements. Usually strapless or like this sort of thing. I mean, there are straps, but they're not really doing much. They're more just for looks. Often those will fall off of me, but since it's my exact sizes, it's staying on so well. The back is so beautiful. If someone wore this to prom, I can guarantee the compliments, the admiration. Like this is show-stopping. I feel like a literal princess. I mean, look at this dress. Ah. Okay, let's try the next one. Okay, next dress. This is just making me think about my wedding dress because wedding dresses traditionally are white, but you can do whatever color you want. And I know a lot more brides now do any color they want but I did wanna do white. But then when I see all these fun, colorful ones, it makes me question it. Oh, oh my gosh. What is this brand? This brand is fantastic. These are honestly gonna be competing 
with like being the best dresses I've ever tried. Like Tuota Matoshi is the winner currently and she will stay the winner, but like these are pretty close second. There's just so much fabric here. <gasps> no wonder these were like a thousand dollars. Look how much fabric, just in fabric alone, it would be that much. Talk about fairy tale princess blue explosion extravaganza tool fun like okay now that i've been sewing a little bit i've made these little tool ruffles before and they take so long and look how many are on this dress i'm trying not to get my lipstick on it there's some here some here some here some here like all over this dress this is like Iconic, iconic behavior. The skirt is obviously show-stopping, but on top of that, I really like how the top is different from the last one we tried. This is like more of a plunging neckline with these translucent tulle sleeves and this cute little pearl. Oh my gosh, so pretty. Little bit of a dilemma with this one. Me and my mom cannot get the zipper for the life of us. We even went down to the garage and grabbed pliers and was trying to get it. I think that they may have sewn the zipper too close and it like now is jammed in one spot, like right down here. It's just like not going. And it's not that the dress is too small because this dress actually, I have quite a bit of room in it. So I'm just like, I don't know what's happening. Like, it's just a zipper. We know how to put a zipper up. I think something's wrong with it. But whatever, let's just pretend like the zipper did work because this dress is stunning. One other issue though is uh, my arms are too big to do this up. <laughs> I mean, I have been hitting the gym people, as you can tell but I'm a little shocked by that. I gotta say though, even with those two problems, this dress has still stolen my heart for obvious reasons. Look at this. Also, is this on purpose? Is this supposed to be up here? This little piece on my hip. I mean, it's sewn in like that. It's just interesting because it's only on this side, not this one. Kind of interesting. This dress has me confused, everybody. I have never seen a dress that is this much fun. This is so beautiful. The layers are so fun because they're all so random. Like if you look, look at it. It's just, this isn't even a full piece. It's just put on there. Like one of those luxurious nightgowns. That's what this reminds me of. I think it's so beautiful. It's like Cinderella blue also, which I love. And it's got a very long train. Oh, a train. So pretty, it's even more beautiful on than what it looked like when I was holding it. So let's get on the pedestal. So much tool. Look at all that. Look at all of those layers to the skirt. So much fabric and so much fun. Oh my gosh, is that not just gorgeous? And it's so comfortable. I wish the zipper would work. Must try circle skirt on. The circle skirt is the love of my life right now. Take a look at this beautiful dress. I nearly fell off this. I'm obsessed with like tool that's ruffled like this. So this dress is the most tool ruffled like this I've ever seen on one dress. And this is actually the first skirt I've ever seen like this, where they just have full on pieces of tool hanging with tool ruffled to create a bunch of poof. Like without this, it would be a little more lackluster. And then you add this and it is the moment. Woo! Like this is a Cinderella moment. Okay, next one. Okay, I'm a little bit confused because this is the last box that I have, but I should have more dresses than this, unless there's two in here, but I don't think so. I think it's just one. Oh no, not this. Is there a missing box again? <sighs> okay, let's see this. Oh my goodness. This is so pretty. <gasps> wow. I love how each dress is so different from the last. Wow, look at the back. The back on this is so beautiful. I think it's making like a heart out of these flowers that are made from this silk ribbon. I need to show you up close what those look like. They're like handmade 
each and every single one of them. So pretty. The top bodice piece is definitely the statement of this dress, but the skirt has not been forgotten. It's this beautiful tulle with all of these like red roses embroidery put on. These are so beautiful. Like honestly, each one is so different and they're so creative and so soft. And you can tell just really, really well made, like lots of detail and time put into these. <sighs> wow, let's put it on. I mean, this is so cute and it feels so light and airy. It literally almost feels like I'm wearing nothing. The skirt is so light in like a good way. I, it feels like air, nothingness on me. Now, obviously the front is gorgeous and this mesh illusion, I usually don't like those, but on here, it's actually so dainty and soft of a fabric. It actually looks like an illusion. So I like that, but the back is truly so cute. Does it look like a heart or is it just a circle? Either way, that is so beautiful. I mean, that's the statement. Think about this at prom. Like, come on, it's so fun. It's like every color. You could put like a bunch of different colors of flowers in your hair. This is beautiful. And I can only imagine what this would look like on a darker skin tone. Oh my God, it would pop. It would pop so good. They are just so cute. They're like nothing I've ever seen before, to be honest. That is so gorgeous. And all the colors, like the light blue, the yellow, the purple, they're all so pretty. By the way, if you're wondering what this mark is, when my mom was trying to get the zipper on the last one done up, she hit me with the plier. So yeah, we were really trying. By the way, there is no train on this dress, which usually I prefer no train just because it's easier to wear. And this dress is definitely a lot easier than the other ones. But even though there's no train, I will still show you the bottom. Here is the bottom. That is what it looks like. And it looks nice. Shall we circle skirt out? I think we shall. I mean, a circle skirt makes everything better. It's a little bit too short. I can kind of see the circle skirt, but I'm just gonna move up so you can't see it. It immediately makes everything a princess dress. I love it. Like, how did I go so long without a circle skirt? I feel like this would have made all my other prom dress videos so much better if I would have had this skirt thingy. Totally worth the money. I feel like this would take so long to make. All these intricate flowers, it's just beautiful. I love it. Okay, my order says there should be two more. And I'm just like looking through my storage. I don't know where they are, so we need to call the expert. Hello. Girl, we got a dilemma. Get up here. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, I'll be right up. Hurry! What is it? I'm unboxing these dresses. Yeah. And it was Chatronette. Huh? I ordered five. Uh-oh. There's three. <gasps> Uh-oh. And I'm thinking it's our error because they each was in a different box. <gasps> oh. So I thought there would be two in two of the boxes, but there was only one. So now I'm like, where are they? Okay. Okay. We have a dilemma. I definitely ordered two other dresses, but I was just checking my order history and I think they may have been shipped to my old studio because they're not in my storage room. I thought, cause I had three boxes, I just thought all five dresses would be in here, but there's only one per box. So I'm missing two. Ah! Where are they? I can like guarantee this isn't the brand's fault. I feel like it was a problem with my mail forwarding address. It must have got messed up with this. So I'm gonna have to look into that. I mean, these three dresses were beautiful enough to be their own video, but if I figure out what happened to those other ones, I will update you guys here or over on Instagram. But yeah, I didn't think this was gonna be the last dress, but I guess it is. Dang it, I was just getting into my groove. I was just getting excited. All these dresses are gorgeous and so unique. Like think about the first, second, third. They all are so different. One does not look like the other. And the fabrics were beautiful. The, the creativity. Creativity, 10 out of 10. Beauty, 10 out of 10. Fabric, 10 out of 10. 
These are beautiful dresses. The dresses you see on the website, the ones you receive are just as beautiful. They look the exact the same. None of that bad Instagram versus reality debacle. That's not happening here. They are as good as they look. Obviously these dresses are pretty pricey. They're not affordable prom dresses by any means, but they are very, very beautiful. I will say that. Anyways though, I guess we're only trying three dresses in this video. I was gearing up for five, but okay. If there are any other dress brands that you want me to try out and extend this prom dress series, let me know down below and I will get on that. As always, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!